Um, you know, that's a, that's a little introduction to a perspective. A perspective which uh, we're invited to by life itself um, and um, by this school and by, you know, the great, you know, the great teachers who've, who've come to this perspective. And, um, and, uh, and as, uh, as Boulin said, you know, this is the purpose for... This is, this is the purpose for man on earth and why he should be respected and revered and because of his potential, not because of his behaviour, as this distinction was made earlier, but because of what he really is. And uh, we need to... Need to... Uh, sorry? Sorry. Not because of his behaviour, which is ignorance, but because of his potential. So this, uh, this man who comes to himself, this is the man who, can, who knows his reality as being the reality, and it seems to me that this is where real responsibility begins. And uh, responsibility take, taken in its uh, strict sense of meaning uh, the ability to respond. Yeah. So... So to the extent we know our reality, to that same extent we're able to respond to what, what has to happen. To respond to people, to respond to nature. And uh, we haven't been responsible. Uh, we have regarded nature as other than ourselves, rather than our mother, and we have exploited. We have exploited things for our own ends because we perceive ourselves as islands and don't see our magnificent potential, true nature, and where, where I believe, is the only place where we can really be happy. We look for happiness in all other places, but we can find it right there in ourselves. So that's, uh, that's my hope for the future. I think it's a real hope. I think that uh, this, this can be found, this can be communicated. Uh, it is completely available for everyone here, but also everyone elsewhere. It's accessible, it's, it's, uh, it's so close, it's there when we just stop. It's with us then. And of course there's more. That's just a beginning. But it's completely accessible to everyone, everywhere, the moment we stop what it is that we're doing. It is a, I, I, I believe it is a real hope uh, and that hope is real. Hope is one of these qualities which uh, belong to the inner world, the, the world of the interior, and which we've come to think is some kind of an invention of the human mind. This is, this is, you know, this is really uh, um, getting very far from, from the reality. When we think that this reality of hope, which we're born with, we've made up. It's some kind of an invention, you know. Uh, just like we think we've made up the idea of God. Or, uh, and of course we have in a way, until we know what it is, really. But uh, this perspective regards the reality, this, uh, this, this reality, the being from which we all derive, the origin, first cause, God, 
um, Buddha nature, whatever we call it, this reality, the mind perceives. It does. Yeah? But it then says, if it's not educated, I made it up. It thinks of it as its own creation. But it is uh, the, 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 the mind, the human, you know, human, I'm talking about ordinary human consciousness, is, is a receptor like everything else. You know, it's, ju- it's, just a, it's just a receptor, like uh, my hand is a receptor and it receives sense, feeling. The mind also is a receptor of the reality. But of course it can only receive according to its own nature and its own limit. You know, just like I can't touch the reality as it is in itself with my hand. I can only... Uh, I have all these different receptors. Why on earth should I limit my reality to my mind? This is really strange. <laughs> I, I, why? Or, you know, why do I think I have to be, you know, full of opinions and right ideas? To, to be a proper human being. Anyway, this is a rant. <laughs>